Hello boys and girls, today we will be talking about graphing again. In our lesson today, we will create bar graphs going different directions, both horizontal and vertical. This bar graph for animals at the zoo will show us how many monkeys, elephants, penguins, and turtles I saw at the zoo. Here's the information filling in. You can see that each of the animals' information is going this direction, from left to right. We call this direction horizontal. But I can switch my bar graph around to go in a different direction. Now the labels monkey, elephant, penguin, and turtle are at the bottom of my graph. So when I fill in my information, it's going to look different monkeys, elephants, penguins, turtles. Now we see that the information is going from bottom to top. The word for that is vertical. Let's work on creating a bar graph going vertical from bottom to top. Here's a picture showing how many flowers are in my yard. How many yellow flowers, red flowers, purple flowers, and blue flowers. Let's look at the picture to fill in our vertical bar graph. Yellow flowers. How many yellow flowers do you count? One, two, three. Now red flowers. How many do you count? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. How about purple flowers? One, two, three, four. Do you see how I'm filling in the information in this bar graph from bottom to top? It's so easy. Next is blue flowers. One, two, three. Great job. Now let's work on answering some questions about my bar graph. Which flower has the most? Notice I'm just asking you to compare the purple and blue flowers. Which one has the most? Look at the bar graph. That's the purple flowers. The purple flowers have four and the blue flowers have three. Which flower has the least? Yellow or red? Look at the bar graph. The yellow flowers definitely have a smaller number. So that one is the answer. Last question. Which flowers have the same amount? Yellow, red, purple, or blue? Are there two flowers that have the same amount? If we look at the bar graph, we see that the yellow and blue flowers both have three. Great job. Just to review, when we look at a bar graph, we can either see the information going from left to right, known as horizontal, or we can see the information going up and down. That's called vertical. Great job, boys and girls. You can do this.